Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Aha! I thought I recognized you. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! To move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. This place gives me an ill feeling. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here.
The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap, or oh, 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 that poses a A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Great. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it! Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. If you find your strength flat, Buy the cure or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes for you, best guard or dodge, else there are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. He's e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of the to see that. How do you think you're going? Don't just run off now. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and ought... Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. To a set upon the Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap... Ask all you wish to know. Very well. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Tis a pleasure to meet you. Shall we discuss tactics now, or...? We have found the material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. side. So this is Merle. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen a
That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead, and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. 
you hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? I am of the Border Watch. Someone with Arisen like abilities came to this village poorly in tow. Know you all of this? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldiers. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to...